Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Triangle Strategy. Last time we left off, we were sitting here at this decision, trying to decide if we wanted to reveal Roland's identity, or keep Roland's identity a secret. So, I'm still thinking I want to reveal Roland's identity. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I think we really need an ally here, and this is probably our best chance at getting Svalrog on our side. So, I think we're going to go with reveal the identity. I'll probably do the convincing um, in a second. Marvels of Norzelia, Volume 7. Alright, see what this is all about. Perhaps this is a bold claim, but I am nearly certain that everything one would want to know about Norzelia could be learned in the North. Yes, in the Asfrosti Archives, generations of Archdukes... Pursued knowledge and technology in order to transform the remote duchy into a mighty force to be reckoned with. They gathered texts from every corner of the realm, and these archives are the result. The large collection of books and scrolls grows ever larger by the day, rendering organization nigh impossible, though that means wisdom believed lost to the ages may very well be slumbering among the stacks. Containing the very history of Norzelia itself, the archives are a treasure house of knowledge and potential. Current Archduke Gustadoff has opened the archives to a veritable flood of scholars, allowing all manner of research to be conducted. Who knows what surprising discoveries tomorrow might bring because of this. Yep, that is cool. Uh, kitty. Gotta, gotta say hey to the kitty. So, anything hiding back here, kitty? Do you have anything for me? No? Okay. I still love you. Fiber times three. Cool. Alright, and nothing else hanging out around here. Alright, let's talk to you. Are you heading out? Sure am. We gotta go see what's going on out here, don't we? Go ahead and adjust my mic again. Jeez, there we go. Uh, talk. Okay, so this is probably just... No. Okay, you're, you're hidden, funnily. But Svalrog was concerned for Lady Frederica when the Archduke invaded Glenbrook. To see her unharmed has put both him and his soldiers, us soldiers at ease. Might I inquire as to what brought Lady Frederica and her new house all the way to Twinsgate? I would ask you instead, why is Lord Svalrog engaged in such dealings? Made the journey to protect both our house and people. As business of my house alone and should not be divulged. Made the journey to protect both our house and people. I surmise such a bold answer means you have nothing to hide, Lord Saranoa. Beginning to feel like this is more of an interrogation than an innocent questioning. N no, sir, my sincerest apologies, I, if I made you feel as such. If you truly wish for an answer, ask Lord Svarog himself. I shan't be responding in his stead. But of course. Yep. Okay, so anything hiding up here? I hate the white, snowy areas in this particular instance because it's harder to see the sparklies when we have the snow falling and the ground is white. Okay, but I'm going to try my best to not miss anything. Let's get down here and rub our face against everything. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there's really nothing down here in this whole giant area. Let's zoom out to... God, this area is massive. Uh, Alright, well, let's look over here. Oh my god, there's another end, too. Are there even any items hiding down here? Not really seeing much. Frame rate's dipping a little bit, which makes it uh, harder to keep track of things as well. I'm not seeing a lot hiding in these places. Do you want to talk to everybody, though? Let's go up here and talk to this soldier, because I did not speak to you. So, hello, friend. Nothing right there, right? Yeah, I see no sparkle. Most of the soldiers stationed here at Twinsgate have worked with Lord Svalrog for years. As such, we trust his judgment. No harm will befall you as long as you as long as you have his permission to be here in a matter of the reason. Cool. Yeah, stuff going on over there. Lord Svalrog told us not uh not to announce your visit to the Archduke. Such an edict means he doesn't want others finding out what's happening here. It's suspicious to say the least. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on over here. We're hanging out up here. Yeah, are there no items? God, it's so hard to see with, like, the snow and everything and how white it is. 
The masked man with you bears a striking resemblance to the famed Sir Maxwell. Though he may be a rival to the duchy, I respect him deeply as a fellow warrior. But he gives off a much younger air than I thought he would. Uh, Sir Maxwell hides all he can from his enemies, his age included. As a warrior, he would be loath to let others use anything against him. Enviable, isn't it? Sir Maxwell takes greater care of his appearance than one might think. Maxwell is younger than you might think and sensitive about it as well. You'd be wise not to treat him as an old man. This one. But if he cares so much for his appearance, why does he hide it behind a mask? That is because he wishes not to expose his enemies to any unsightly visage he might show upon his defeat. I see, so it is a sign of respect to any who would best him in battle. The Dawnspear is with a gentleman and a soldier. I can't believe that works, Serena. I'd always admired Sir Maxwell, but you have given me newfound respect for him. For that, I thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Maxwell's got a, got a fan. So, there's the two down there as well. Yeah, it looks like there's not a lot of items just hiding here. Unless I'm just missing them, but god, it would be so hard to see with the snow and everything. I'd like to think they wouldn't be mean enough to put stuff here. With it like this. Oh my god. Was there even a sparkle for that? Oh shit. Oh gods. That's so mean. I just want to rub my face against everything. Oh my god, really. Okay, is it even sparkling? What? Look at that tiny little sparkle. I mean, it is because I'm zoomed out as well, to be fair, but... Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna have to do another once-over of this place. Whereas Valrog was overcome with grief when he heard of his son's murder. The Archduke said it was all a plot by Glenbrook to seize control of the Grand Narzalian Mines. I would not be surprised if Lord Svalrog begrudged the royal family because of it. Gustav claimed it was King Regna who gave the order to have Lord Jagan slain. What we saw at the mines that day proves otherwise. How could we get Lord Svalrog to believe us? Whatever our path, we must tread carefully. The matter of his son's death is a sensitive one, and any mistake could cost us our lives. What right about Dragan, beloved son? Archduke Gustav had Lord Svalrog sent all the way here out to Twinsgate. Soldiers like us were likewise forced to the borders alongside him because of that bad blood. Seems the duchy is not as united as I expected. Disunity in the duchy. Yeah, we know about that. Okay, so let's look over this this area a bit more in a bit more detail. Um, I also need to look at these pieces of information that I got. Svalrog, son of a concubine and half-brother to the previous Archduke, has long led the life of an outsider to his own family. He and Gustadoff, the previous Archduke's true-born heir, share a mutual loathing. Sudden death of his beloved, beloved only son, Jagan, took a heavy toll on Svalrog. They say he thinks of nothing now but finding the killer and exacting vengeance. Okay. Well then. Uh... Let's continue poking around here. I think I'll probably just cut this out unless I find something. Just so people don't see me smashing my face into everything. Alright, I think I've gotten everything. <laughs> oh boy, I'm really not sure though. It is hard to see the stuff here. Alright, so... We are going to be revealing Roland's identity to earn Svalrog's trust. So, let's see what our allies have to say first. Say. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Say. If we can gain Svalrog's trust by revealing my identity, then that is what we ought to do. We must restore Wolfort if we are to reclaim the kingdom. The danger to me is of little consequence. Okay. And Benedict, I can imagine what you're going to say. Yes. Lord Svalrog would be an ideal resource to learn more about Estros and her workings. Though what happened to Lord Rodrigan was truly unfortunate, it could provide us the perfect opportunity to uncover the Duchy's true intentions. And Gila. Me? We hide the Prince's identity from Svalrog, but fail to win his trust, we may all end up facing punishment. In which case, would not a forthright admission give us a better chance of gaining his favor? Yeah, this could potentially go hairy, but I think this is the best shot we have. Um, let's start with you, Anna. Revealing Prince Roland's identity may win Svalrog's cooperation, but at what cost? I have yet to arrive at a decision. What are your thoughts? We need to reveal it. I believe we should reveal it. So you would reveal Prince Roland's identity. We need Lord Svalrog on our side if we are to restore Wolfort. I believe securing his cooperation to be worth the risk. 
We have nothing else with which to bargain, revealing his identity may well be our best move. Lord Svalarg remains suspicious of the Archduke. He might aid us if we can prove that we did not murder his son. Indeed. And you believe earning his trust is worth revealing our closely held secret? Lord Svalarg obsesses over the truth behind Lord Jagan's death. Perhaps he seeks revenge. In which case, our aims will be aligned, making this a risk worth taking. I see that we may need to be bold if we wish to better our situation. Thank you for your counsel. Okay, I feel like that might have worked. Um, Frederica? Please, Serenia. honey. I think it would be possible to convince my uncle without revealing Prince Roland's identity. I believe we should reveal it. This one should listen to reason. Okay, cool. So her reason is identity must be revealed? The Duchy has no interest in those who are of no use to it. We must make it clear that there is value in negotiating with us. Restoring House Wolfort takes precedence over the Prince's secret. Please remember why Roland on the mask. Svarg is suspicious of us. We will have to be forthright with him. I see th this one. Because we're using, uh... Yeah, it's it's their guiding principle. We, we have to show that we're of use. No! This frost is my homeland. I know its character well. Oh no. It is a land that claims to value freedom and merit, but in truth is a ruthless arena where the strong devour the weak. Those that show any weakness are quickly delegated to pawns. If we are to reveal our secret to them, they will attempt to take advantage of us. I need a moment to think. Sorry, but my heart still wavers on this matter. Sarah Noah, what is your opinion of my uncle? Okay, that was the that was the wrong option there. If he is your uncle, then he is mine as well. I'm sure we can come to an understanding. He's a man bold enough to vie for power against Gustadoff. I do not believe he is in the habit of casually revealing secrets. Um, if he is a man bold enough to vie for power against Gustadoff, I do not believe he is in the habit of casually revealing secrets. I'm gonna go with this one. Surely. Yes, you can rely on my uncle to be discreet. He is also not one to spout lies. I know without a doubt that he holds great animosity towards the Archduke. If we can show that our objectives are aligned, he may very well choose to fight alongside us. I pray she understands where I stand. Yikes, that first one I really screwed up on because, you know, I was preaching to the choir there. Frederica's from here, I didn't need to explain that to her. Yeah, okay, Hewett, I know why you're against it. I... Risk of Prince Roland's secret being revealed grows greater with every telling of it. We m have only just succeeded in feigning his death. It would be foolish for us to reveal the truth of it so soon. We should reveal. Do you truly think it worth the risk to reveal that Prince Roland lives? We must take a risk to prove our determination if we are to learn the trust. We want justice for Lord Jagan, as does Lord Svalrog. Showing him that Roland lives may convince him that we had no part to play in his son's murder. I don't know how <laughs> that would help convince him. We want justice for Lord Jagan, as does Lord Svalrog. Showing him that Roland lives may convince him that we had no part to play. Why would that convince him? Just being like, hey, yo, Roland's alive. That means we didn't murder your son. <laughs> what? I don't know. This doesn't feel like the right option. I feel like Kiva's just gonna be like, what? That's stupid. We must take a risk to prove our determination if we are to earn Lord Svalrog's trust. We want justice. As we've seen, the option that's revealed isn't always the correct one. I'm gonna go with this one. Make no mistake, I understand what Lord Svalrog's trust is worth. What? Putting Prince Roland's very life in danger is no mere risk, Lord Saranoa. Might I speak with you further to clarify my own thoughts? And? How do you see Lord Svalrog? He is someone who holds boundless ambition that requires a cause around Ritz to rally, a cause I believe we can provide. Frederica's uncle? No. He's a man who wishes to overthrow Gustav and those of common enemies make potential allies. Someone with boundless ambition that requires a cause of Unrich to rally, a cause which I believe we can provide. And who wishes to overthrow Gustadoff, and those who, with common enemies could make potential allies. I like this one and this one. Boundless ambition that requires a... He doesn't have boundless ambition though, right? We've seen before that he doesn't... He was kind of... Like, he was put here in Twinsgate, but I wouldn't say he's like super ambitious, right? I'm gonna go with this top one. He is a man who, like, you know, our uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Quite true. Perhaps, but this potential ally has been driven out to Twinsgate by his own nephew and will not hesitate to remind us of the fact. Even so, his involvement in the illegal salt trade is proof enough that his ambition has not diminished. Okay, maybe you did want to go with that one. 
Should revealing Prince Roland's identity persuade him to join us, we may well gain an ally in our fight against the Archduke. I thank you, this talk has brought me clarity at last. Been moved. Yes! Okay, that did work. Alright, Eridor, it's just you. Here's what I think. This Falrog's not in Gustadolf's corner, but he's as frosty all the same. I can't see him as anything else. You really think we can trust him? Yep. Tell me, lad. Why do you think we should go reveal that our dear Prince Roland lives? Doing so might earn Svalrog's trust and win him to our cause, is the enemy of our enemy not our friend? We have no other choice if we wish to convince Lord Svalrog that we had naught to do with his son's death. I don't understand the logic here. Why is revealing that Roland is still alive going to convince him that we didn't kill his son? I don't get this. Am I missing something again? It just feels weird, right? Uh... Doing so might earn his trust and win him to our cause as the enemy of our enemy, not our friend. Hmm. I have heard that one plenty. He does want the same as us. That much is true. It's risky, but the gains could be worth it. Headaches. I wish there was a clear answer here. Yes, so. Reckon a lord needs a keen eye for a man's character, so how do you see Svarog? Frederica seemed to think him trustworthy when she lived in Esfrost, so I believe he can keep a secret. He's an ambitious man with no love for the Archduke and a father consumed by grief, desperate to avenge his son. I believe he can keep a secret. No love for the Archduke. I don't know. I don't like this. I feel like Eridor would probably like the trustworthy bit more. But I also feel like the ambition with no love for the Archduke and a father consumed by grief, desperate to avenge his son. I'm gonna say this one. You're onto something. Lad, if I didn't know better, I swear you could read minds. I sized them up exactly the same. The hatred he feels towards his boy's murderer threatens to eat him alive. If we prove it to him, it was Gustadolf. Well, I reckon he'd raise a rebellion tomorrow, which makes it worth the wager if you ask me. I've made up my mind. Against all odds, I think I might finally see a way out of this. Yes. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good. I think even if I didn't convince Anna and, um, who was it? No, Huet was moved. Uh, Anna, and I don't think I convinced Frederica, but I think I got Eridor Huet. So, at least one of them. One of them's all I need. I just need one swing vote. All right, I think we're good. Let's do it. I definitely screwed up with Frederica, but everything else was pretty solid. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Yep, I know what you want. Know what you want? Okay, here's my first no. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh my god! You have swayed me, Sarah Noah. Let us see if Prince Roland's secret can earn us my uncle's trust. Hell yeah! Okay, are we gonna get an all... All I? Unanimous? Come on, Anna. Don't be the one. I agree. I believe in you. Yeah! This is how we do it. I have faith in you. Your words resonated with me. I believe you and Prince Roland can earn Lord Svalrog's trust. Damn right! You won me over. I thought about it and I think you're onto something, lad. <laughs> yeah, we convinced everybody. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Do we even really need to? Flawless victory. Beautiful. Love to see it. Cool. Reveal Roland's identity to earn Svarog's trust before negotiations. I feel like it could be a bit... Um... I don't know. I, I feel like it could be a little bit more panic-inducing, because... When I can count the people, and basically know what the outcome is before the scales go, it kind of takes away a little bit of the suspense. I wish they wouldn't say anything to Sarah Noah when they go up there, regardless of whether they change their mind or not. And they would just put their token somewhere, so I wouldn't know until the scale actually goes. That would, that would make it suspenseful and fun, I think. The way forward is decided. The only way to win Svarog's trust is to reveal Roland's identity and begin negotiations. Yeah, I guess the logic here is if we reveal Roland's, you know, thing, we can be like, hey, we'll help you overthrow Gustadolf, which he probably will like because he can avenge his son. It is decided. Svarog shall know the truth of Roland's identity. 
Benedict, I would ask that you arrange an audience as quickly as possible. Of course, my lord. All right, let's do it beneath a frigid sky. Now watch me get onto the screen and it's like, battle incoming. And I'm like, wait, what, what? No. All right, well, go ahead and hit up the save here. I am really, really enjoying this game. It's super fun. There's definitely a few things that have me question it sometime, but no game's going to be perfect. And I might just be missing something, as I've said. But uh, it's pretty fun. Oh no, everybody can see what time I'm playing it. No, ignore the fact that it's 5 a.m. <laughs> oh boy. People are gonna shame me for my, uh, my sleeping habits. I work a late shift at work, Prince okay? Prince Roland of Glenbrook lives. It is a powerful secret that could sway the decisions of the other nations. Knowing this, House Wolfort asks for an audience with Svarog in hopes of divulging that very information and gaining his trust. I still don't think, like, I'm still not positive this is the right option. This, th this could still go very, very south, but we'll see. Nine part two, a treacherous soul. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of that. Oof, I'm actually nervous. You must have something of import to tell me. <sighs> Whatever it is, know that my guard stays. Oh my god, I'm anxious. There is something we wish to show you, Lord Svarog, in hopes of earning your trust. Prince Roland? They said you perished. Indeed they did. I guess that is one benefit to this. So, if we show that Roland's alive, that shows that Gustadolf is a liar and is not afraid to lie, which could show him that, hey, Gustadolf was lying about who killed your son. And the rumors will stay that way as long as Gustadolf draws breath. Surely you understand the meaning of this revelation. Indeed I do. Give me time to think it over. Hmm. No. <laughs> My stomach is twisting in knots here, people. You can't do this to me. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we got stuff popping up on the map here. We got another... Examination phase. There's no going back. Roland reveals identity is Falrog, but is it enough to win his trust? I don't like that there's another examination phase. That makes me think there's going to be a battle afterwards where he's like, I'm going to turn you in to Gustav. <laughs> oh boy. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. A bird arrives bearing an urgent message for Sikris. Interesting. I need a hug. I need a hug. All my cats are asleep or I would go hug one. Constable, a bird has arrived from our spy at Twinsgate. Sikris. Sikris, you bastard. I've discovered a secret ledger in Svarag's quarters. An unscheduled merchant company has arrived. Cargo uncertain. I shall continue my investigation. Sikris, don't be a cop, okay? I know it's your job, be but... An illicit shipment of salt. If we can get our hands on both the salt and the ledger, we can expose their crimes. But we cannot be sure of that just yet, sir. Perhaps we should wait for the next report. No. If we simply sit still, we may lose our only chance of getting that evidence. Sikris, I will put you down. I have come too far, went through too much. But Lord Svarog is a powerful man. Even our own formidable forces cannot afford to make a mistake. And it is precisely because he is so powerful that we cannot let these misdeeds go unpunished. I shall assume responsibility for whatever happens. Now, we make for Twinsgate. Damn it, Sikris. You're such a cop. Yes, sir. All right, well, you got your ass bopped in the battle you joined me in, so I, I, maybe I can bop you just as hard.
Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Somebody knows. Stupid spies. Jeez. Where's my spy? There's no going back. Roland reveals his identity, but it's enough to win his trust. Probably after we help him beat up Sikris when they come here to arrest him for the drug trade. I'll be like, hey, we'll help protect you. Just join our army. Whew. Late that night. Leave us. Yes, sir. That's a big sign of trust there. My apologies for summoning you at this hour. I see now the resolve of House Woolthort. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the spy because he was asking a lot of questions of uh, Sarah Noah and making it kind of obvious. So I think that's our, that's our rat. I think it best we both speak frankly. We have decided to stand against Gustadolf. Just as you have. I. The only reason I purchase illicit salt is to amass the power I need to oppose the Archduke. Yeah. Gustadolf pursues his ideals and his alone. He even curtailed the might of my house as if we were not family. I see. That explains Lord Dragan's efforts at the mines. I remember Lord Dragan's words. The future is in the hands of the ardent youth. I. He was off to say that. He was always asking how long I intended to leave Gustadov to his own devices. Sarah Noah, I think it would be fantastic if you shared the book that Dragan gave you with Falrog. <laughs> But just who would kill my boy? And why? As we said, we unfortunately do not know who did it. But neither Glenbrook nor Woolfort stood to gain anything from his death. Even if there were something to be gained, we would not have acted without preparing for retaliation. But, as you can see from the current state of Glenbrook, the capital was easily taken while merrymaking over the mines. A fair point. That is a good one. But there is someone who could use your son's death for his own purposes. To put the crown within his reach. Gustadolf. You there! Explain yourself! Uh-oh. We found this man eavesdropping on your conversation. We found the rat! Heard the guard from earlier. A spy. He knows who I am. Oh shit. Anna, I need two daggers in the back. Stat. We shall give chase. Huet, alert the others. Anna, <laughs> I need a throat slit. Stat. No, you don't, you stupid bastard. There he is. You won't get away. Yes. Good shit. Good shit, Huet. Uh uh. Dead. I wonder who he was working for. Oh, Sikris, Sikris, Sikris. I think I once worked with you at one point. My apologies. This was the only way to stop him, for sure. You needn't apologize, Huet. Yeah, we murdered a lot of people. Would have been nice to find out who he was working for from his mouth, though. Benedict and the others are investigating the spy. I should see if they managed to uncover anything. <sighs> well, I, I, wanted, I wanted Anna to do it, but Huet had my back. All right, what's up, Anna? This probably may have been sent by Esfrost on Constabulary. Yup. Spy was pierced by through by an arrow. There's no way of getting information from him now. Yeah. Benedict? It's concerning to think of how much information that spy had. With him gone, though, there's a chance his master will show to find out why their correspondence has stopped. 
Must prepare for battle, my lord. Oh, Sikris, you dumb, dumb fool. Being called a trading illicit salt is one thing, but Prince Roland's identity is discovered. Everything we have done for will be not. Wait, everything we have done will be for naught. And Svalrog soldiers are on the search for any other spies that might be lurking around. Okay. They said our spy. They didn't say one of our spies, so I imagine that was the only spy, but they don't know that. We do. Um, yeah, I don't think new things have populated in the environment here. I don't think there's any reason for me to do it another exploration. It's the same map, right? So... I'm hoping I'm not missing something. I managed to keep the truth of my identity from spreading, but at the cost of a man's life. I know he yet did what needed to be done, yet I cannot help but feel vexed about the situation. This is all my fault. Yeah, well... Shouldn't have been a rat. It was my job to prevent suspicious persons from entering Twinsgate. What a failure I am. No, you're fine, friend. You're just doing your job. Honestly, the rat was too. It's really unfortunate timing to be overheard when revealing the prince's identity. I wonder if that spy was here to investigate the illicit salt trade. Okay. Well. Let's go down here and speak to Hewett in the last bit. That spy was still alive and might have been able to get valuable information out of him. But he was struck down by my own hand, no less. Reflexes are faster than most Hewett. They served us well in the mines that day, too. Our lives would have been forfeit had anyone learned of our illicit dealings and Roland's identity. Do not doubt your decision. Saved Roland by preventing his secret from getting out, just as any upstanding member of the King's Guard should. I think you'll like this one. I wished only to protect Prince Roland with all my heart. That's more than enough, Hewett. Pray do not falter in your convictions. I shan't. My bow is ever at His Highness's service. I like you, Hewett. Alright, so I think we're good then. I don't think there's really anywhere else for me to go. I can't go in the doors. So I think we can conclude. Looks like our secret is safe for now, but we must be even more prudent going forward. Alrighty. Well. We're doing it to it. There it is. Recommended level 16, Sarah and the others managed to silence the spy who overheard Roland's secret, but danger still looms near. Um, anything else going on around here? Not that I see. Let's go to the encampment and make sure we beef up. We got a beef. Alright, so... Are there any further battles that we can do? Nope. There are no, no more of those. I do have a pretty good amount of money. Anything I can upgrade? I was a wonder if Lord Simon... Sorry, I didn't mean to skip what you said. Soldier. Once, when we were still novices, we went for a drink in the Crown City. A few cups in, he promised he would buy his first blade from me. Look where that got him. Okay. Ooh, Narv can be upgraded. Um, just these things, though. Yeah. Or one of these, actually. Whoopsie. Increase max HP or increase physical defense. I'm good. Benedict, I'm not really using. I'm definitely not using you. Ooh, you though. Yes, yes, please. Physical damage dealt during a tempest. Accuracy. Let's just increase your damage. There, Archibald. Alright, that seems good to me. Um, now, do I want to... Buy anything here? Hmm. I once again just think I want to save my money. I really want this. Like, really badly. <laughs> but I keep not having enough money to do it. Alright, and you don't have anything, right, Archibald? Yep, nothing interesting. Alright, let's leave the encampment and see if we can make some progress on this mission today. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it by any means, but uh, we can get started. I don't want to cliffhang the episode when we have so much more video left. You there, don't move! Lord Sarah Noah, what are you doing here? Sir Secrets. Constable, 
One of ours has been found dead. We didn't even clean up the body yet. How oh, unfortunate. I shall be taking you lot in for questioning. Throw down your weapons. You there, remove your mask. <clears throat> I am sorry, but we cannot comply. Then you leave me no choice but to have you all arrested. These people are my guests. I will not tolerate such disrespect, even from you, Sikris. I received a report of suspicious movement in the area. It seems the report was correct. I will have to investigate Twins Gate inside and out. Just look at your profile again, Sikris. Head of Estros Constabulary, charged with upholding the peace. His honest and orderly conduct, conduct has earned Gustadoff's favor. Yeah, yeah, you're a cop. You're a cop. And you're working with Gustadoff, so everything that Gustadoff is doing, you're complicit in. You're his puppy. And I don't like you. I know not who raised the issue, but that makes it no less dire. I shall have the investigation myself. I simply cannot allow it. This responsibility was given to me by the Archduke himself. You dog. Did the Archduke also deem me unworthy of your trust? C Constable! Do not falter, men. We shall enter Twins Gate by force if we must. I'd like to see you try. I have the high ground and everything. It's a real shit position for you, Sikris. All right, let's go. This is going to be a very archer heavy map. I'm just going to rain hell down on you people. All right, decimate the enemy forces. Allow Falrog to fall. Ooh, a hammer. Ooh, you're cool. Iron fighter. Deal physical damage to an enemy and knock them back five squares. You seem strong. Okay, I like you. I like people that use a hammer. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and I have to protect you specifically. I see no squares that say you're gonna summon allies at some point. So... I think we're good there. Is this really all the battle has? Just these handful of dorks? Really? Huh. I mean, I guess I can only deploy 10 units, but... I mean, they're gonna come running at me, and I'm just going to absolutely annihilate them, so... Yeah. Not ideal for you guys, for sure. Um... Alright, let's select our units. So... Yens, I'm sorry, you're fun, you're interesting, your Home Alone shit makes me very happy, but, uh, no. Archibald, yes. Uh, Lionel might not be super useful here. Um, I definitely want Roland. Narv is a good. Rudolph is a good. Huet is a good. I want all of my archers. It recommends all of them, and it makes a ton of sense why it would. You're required. Erador, Chila. Yeah, I mean, this might be the squad here. I don't really think I want to edit it at all. Benedict, Yulio, Lionel. Yeah, no, I I think we're I think I'm good with this. Alright. Let's do it. So Eridor, you can be right here. Ooh. Those are the green squares, right? Oh wait, no, those are just okay, I thought that meant reinforcements are gonna be coming in there, but I think this just means I can, you know, move Eridor right there. So let's move Eridor up. Narv, you go right there. Archibald, is that a... What's your jump? Two. Okay, you can get your old ass up there. Good. Because I want you and Huet and, quite honestly, Rudolph as well, sitting up there. Um, let's get all my mages kind of uh, right here. Gila. Uh, I think... There's a good spot for you. Saranoa can be down here. Roland can be down here. And Anna, you can also be down here. We got like a front line. We got our rangers and our mages. I think we're good. Commence the battle. Let's go. This is going to be a fantastic opportunity for Archibald to shine. Uh, so that is cool. They do have some spearmen. Maybe a. Oh wait, no they don't. 
They don't have spearmen. Never mind, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. All right, battle begins. I take orders from no one. Now stand down. Advance, men. We are within our rights to know the truth. That would spell the end of House Wolfort. They leave us no choice but to fight. I see you're keen as always, Sikris. I'd hoped we wouldn't have to fight like this. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. I'm really glad I brought you into this fight, Rudolph. Yeah, you and you and Sikris definitely are, like, friends, basically. Or acquaintances, at least. No. Stand with Lord Svarog. Let no man through. The hunt is All right, on. Vanguard Scarf, we can go ahead and get you up here and your range. Pretty good. What is it from like here? It's basically the same as if you're right here. So yeah, let's keep you right there, Huet. Tend to work. Seems good to me. Anna. Uh let's ooh, okay, so let's inspect Sikris here. So resist poison, silence, sleep, temptation, instant death. Grant one TP and razor. Okay, so you have that. Deal physical damage to a single enemy and have a chance to immobilize them and knock back. That is annoying. When you have a tempered rod, you have a ton of HP. Uh, I think what I would like to do with Ana is get you in there. Elite Bowman. And you're an elite blade. Yeah, okay. Well, that's probably why there's not very many of you. I want to take out the battle mages and stuff. They don't have a healer, I can't help but notice, which is really going to interfere with their ability to do a lot. Um, I do want to get you in there, Ana, but there's a pretty good chance that they'll walk up and see you. Let's just hold off for now. Um, Roland, you can move down there. I kind of want to split everybody up since they do have some mages. My duty shall be done. And they're currently at max DP. You're just going to chill. Okay, you're walking forward. Come on, lamps to the slaughter. Let's go. Mhm. Mm Let's go ahead and fast forward, you guys. You're taking too damn long. Sprint. Uh. Well, let's move right here with you, just to move you up this? a little bit. Rudolph. Um. I'll put a steel trap. Let's go ahead and hit this up. Uh, let's put a steel trap like right here. That unit's totally gonna run at Roland. Roland can just wait, and you'll run into the trap probably. Okay, and I'll get Archibald up high as well. Heighten defenses. Physical defense up. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, well, let's go ahead and ram you into your friend back there. No collision damage. Okay, so you can't quite get as high as I want you to. You have pretty good range if I have you right there. Hmm. And if I get you, like, up here, you can shoot... Not quite as far. Let's have you, like, right here, I think. I would like to have them move forward a little do. bit more. Hmm. You get, like, some extra range? Not really. Okay, get down there in the thick of it, Narv. I shall do what I can. Uh... Sheila... You could get attacked by a few characters if you're not careful. I do just want to continue to spread out, though, so that I can't be... hit as hard. Um, who do I want to cast haste on, though? Um... Let's cast haste on Rudolph. Go swift. Blood there you go, Rudolph. Die. All right. You're shooting Eridor. Eridor's tanky. Eridor can handle it. Yeah, get down here, idiot. Get from your very, very useful position. Get away from there. None will stand in my way. All right, Svalrog, please. If worse should come to worst, you must leave. We cannot allow things to end here. Svalrog. Gustadolf is undoubtedly scheming something. He must not be left to his own devices. Understood. 
But first, we rout Secrets' forces. I'm sorry for this, Frederica. I never suspected a spy in our midst. If our illicit trading is brought to light, everything will have been for naught. For now, let us concentrate on the battle before us. I agree. I never thought I would receive a scolding from you, Frederica. You have truly grown. Lord Zvarog, allow me to repay my debt to you here and now. I never thought I would see the day we fought side by side like this. This is so interesting. The, you know, having certain characters in the fight will prompt conversations with other characters. I really, really like that because we found out about Gila's history with Svarog. And of course, Frederica has a history. We got Rudolph and Sikris talking. That's really cool. Really, really cool. I like that. I eagerly anticipate seeing your prowess in battle. I'll Hello? try to remember that for the future if I can think of any other instances where it may come up. Um, Pillars of Fire. We never did look at this. To enemies, cross five horizontal squares and set the ground ablaze. Um, yeah, I could hit you. Is there really any point, though? I mean, I guess there's some point. You you have enough TP. I can kind of waste it here. Yeah, sure, go for it. We might be able to finish that enemy off. Th that's also the one that's incredibly uh, defensive right now. Strength up. Don't like that. They're really cruising for a bruising all standing around like that. Titan defenses. Okay. If I move right here, yes. So let's go ahead and shadow stitch you. Boom. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. You're gonna smack him. Oh, wow, you hit your own friend. Why'd you do that? Okay, so... I would like to get you in there, Ana, and start messing some people up. But uh, it's also a little bit hairy. If they all just decided to pile on top of you. Okay, your poisons. Uh... Yeah, sure. Just throw poison again. I don't, I don't think I don't think they're gonna be able to kill you. You missed, unfortunately. Don't get sloppy. Cheer. Okay. Well, I want you guys to run into this trap, so I do think I'm just gonna wait. You'll probably run over to Roland. There you go, stupid. Good shit. And let's uh, let's see if I do this sweeping slash. Ooh, that's quite useful. Yeah, I like that. I'll make this quick. <laughs> there we are. Got For a back attack. Unfortunately, I didn't get to follow up with uh, Roland because I wasn't in the right spot, but it's fine. You're gonna be able to get some fire damage down. Ooh, freeze! Don't like that. To work. Ooh, it didn't work though. Good shit. Okay, get up there. Um, let's see. If you move right here, Rudolph. Oh, you can't straight shot him. Well, let's hit you anyway. There we go. Narv, you can get in there and ooh, they're all sitting in the in the in the puddle. Oh yeah, yeah, we finally do get to do some cool stuff with this. Let's go. All right, let's move you up here and let's spark um this dork to finish him off, and we're also gonna damage the other ones. Yay! I finally get to make actual use out of this. Cool. Yay! Awesome. Freezing arrow. Owie. That is pain. Speed down as well. Uh... Oh, man. You really can't hit anybody? Oh my god, your movement's shit, Archibald. Do you know that? I need, like, an increased movement thing for you. I thought you being this high up would... I mean, you could at least hit, like, this character. But no. Okay, fine. Start start moving up there. Yeah. Damn. You are just really slow, which is unfortunate. That's the main bad part about you. Yikes. Only a flesh wound. Um. Hmm. Sheila's turn is coming up. She can move up and heal. Let's uh. 
what do I want to do here? If I ram you into that guy, you will die. Bang. Cool. Dead. Um, let's move you back here, I think. Eridor. And this way, you can uh, sanctuary both of them. There we are. Cool. Sarah Noah's in a bit of a risky situation now, but uh, I'm sure we can handle it. You're gonna walk up and smack me. Maybe next time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sarah Noah is too slick. Okay. Um. Now I could scorch both of you. How much? I don't think that would that poison would do enough damage to kill you. Unfortunately. I'd also hit you too. Let's hit you because you're weak to fire. So, let's move you up here. Unfortunately, you're going to be out of commish for a bit. Uh huh. You have spinning slash too. Yikes, that is scary. Here I come. That was a lot of damage, actually. Um, those guys are a problem. Shadow stitching arrow on, like, you. 88% chance and you won't be able to move. Good shit. Cool, so you can't do anything to help out. Yikes. Yeah, that... This guy hurts. A lot. Um... 15. Is that poison going to do 15? I feel like it is, right? But at the same time, I want to be sure. Maybe it's a waste. Um... Alternately, if I go over here... Do, uh, oh, you have counter stance. Okay, well that's not fun. Okay, I think, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Glad that was the case. Um, okay, your counter stance is quite annoying. Uh, I could rush both of you. If only I could, ooh, 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 Sarah Noah's going next as well. Let's do this. Double thrust you. And I think Sarah Noah... Let's see, who do we got going next? Rudolph, Archibald. Sweeping Slash? I could Sweeping Slash. If I do that though, I can't follow up with you, so it's not a guaranteed kill on this dork. I need a guaranteed kill here. Who's three? Somebody up here? Svalrog's three. Um... Yeah, I think what I want to do is this. Let's do that. That is a kill there. I'll handle this. Let's go then. Um... Let's see here. Uh, straight shot on you. Um... Then six is going, Sikris is going, oh, you're going three. And the only person going before you is Archibald. Don't like that. Um, if I do this though, I can probably kill you. Mm, Gila's coming up at nine. If I do this, I can finish you off, but you're gonna walk in and do a bunch of damage to possibly kill Sarah Noah. The other thing I could do is use a ranged HP recovery pellet on you two. But then you're just gonna go for Narv. Hmm. I think I'm just going to focus on... Killing this guy? Well, let's see. So where can you move? Yeah, see, this guy can move to Sarah Noah no matter what, so... We might have a unit go down here. Uh, is so that is not good. No need to panic. Archibald, you can kill that dork. There we go. Archibald, get up there so you can have some more range. Okay, you're... Ooh, oh yeah, you're a bowman. Shit, I thought you were the swordsman. That's why I was really scared of you. Sikris, why are you just standing there? Okay, you finally decided to get into the fight. I can't say I'm happy about it. Agreed. 
I had hoped you'd become an honest man, Rudolph. We got our reasons. Not that I'd expect a straight-laced man like you to understand them. I have to keep going. Okay, Narv, you are barely alive. Um... Let's see, if I move you back here, Gila can heal you next turn, and I want you to sanctuary these two. Or these three, rather. I can heal there we go. And we're gonna be able to heal up. Ice arrow, dodge it. Nope. Unfortunate. Here I come. Uh, Huet. I wish I could do a shadow stitching arrow, but unfortunately I cannot. I can try to blind this other dork, though. Darkness engulfs you! Good shit. I think I did get that as well. Yes, I did. Shall we begin? Cool, cool. And oh my God, Sarah no needs to be healed again. So that archer can reach Narv. Narv might die. I'm gonna be honest, Narv might die. Cause let's see, Sarah Noah's turn comes relatively soon. This dork still can't move. Sarah Noah's gonna get attacked by you and you. Actually, no. If I get you in there... Hmm. Let's see, you can attack that many people. You can't reach Narv. Okay, I think Narv might be safe. Actually. Let's see, the question is, who do I want to prioritize? Saranoa or Narv? Narv... Damn. So what I'm thinking is I have Saranoa, or Eridor move up here, taunt as many of these units as I can, and that'll be good. Hmm. And I think that'll save Saranoa. This person's blinded. This person can't reach Narv. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna heal Narf. I think that's just what I want to do. We're gonna heal you on the off chance that you would go down. Uh, Sarah Noah, I think, is fine. Well, especially if you decide to attack Ana instead. Also, all of you piled up for the provoke that I don't have the stuff for. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that was a misplay. I Wasn't paying attention to uh, all of my TP there. Um, let's see. I could range. You know what? Let's let's do it. You you got the stuff for it, right? Oh, I can't get over there like I would want though. Eh, it's screw it. I need to use these things. There we go. So, hmm. I think I want to throw poison at you. Um, and I could throw poison again, but I think I'm just gonna take cover so that they can't attack me. Good stuff, Anna. You still can't move. God, Shadow Stitch is so good. You're blinded. Charge! You did look at me for like a second, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> Uh, so I could come over here and stab both of you. Wouldn't that put me kind of close to Sikris, though? Uh, you can't reach me to actually hit me. So... My other potential is to move over here. I think I'd rather do this. And just stab both of you. I shirk from no danger. There you go. Attack two no, enemies simultaneously. Svarog's so still just kind of chilling. Svarog's so got nowhere to be. I think I can actually finish this fight, this episode. Maybe. I'm doing pretty well. Come on. They're all looking pretty low HP. So it falls to me. Sikris is going to be very tanky, but it's not going to be that hard what to finish you off. Do. Let's uh, move you right here. Do a hawk dive on this dork. I just want to secure those spoils and also keep you in a safer position. Mage is coming back in. The Bowman. Frederica, really. Let's. Oh my god. Seriously. Yeah, the range isn't enough. That's probably the best spot I can get you right now. 
Hey, your, your movement is just so low. If I move you down here, you can hit someone. Let's, uh... Yeah... Huet, let's move you right here and blind Darkness that door. There we go. Shall more we blind. Always need more blind. Um... Sanctuary on these two. Frederica next turn is going to be able to burn some people alive. Ice arrow on Eridor. Eridor can take it. Um, Anna's in the puddle, unfortunately, so I don't want to do anything with that. I could shock this idiot. Let's do it. Don't be afraid. Eat spark, nerd. And you're paralyzed. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Um, so, you're blinded. You're not really much of an issue. Sikris is hanging out right here. I could poison Sikris. Or I could just throw Anna in here with Abandon. You're still stopped. This is risky, but I think I'm going to do it. I think we're fine. Because now you're boxed in for the most part. And you're also still blinded. <clears throat> Ow. Still managed to hit Roland, though. <gasps> What is Damn. The party doing? Spar arc must be stopped. Shit. Okay, so you do get reinforcements. You do. Okay, well. Um Scorch right here. Looks like a pretty good call to me. That's one dead. We will make our ideals reality. Red anklet, got that boost. This. Um, let's see, I would love to move right here and take you out. I can make sure the shield bearer dies. I think I'm gonna do that. Because your turn's coming up next. Charge. That cancels one of your turns. Could rush. Does that work? This is unfortunately putting you in a bit of a bad position, Roland, Brace but... Yourself. There we go. None will stand in my way. Duty, it was worth done. it. All right, Sikris, what you gonna do, idiot? Not even House Wolford is above the law. You will tell us the truth behind your presence here. Arrest them all. All right, I'd like to see you try. No one escapes the law. Apprehend. Immobility. Go, that sucks. All right, Rudolph. I'm sorry, friend, but I need you to shoot your your old buddy. I strike true. Fifty-six percent chance to hit. Ow. From where shall we strike? <clears throat> well. How about I move right here? That's gonna open me up to getting absolutely annihilated by you. So never mind, actually, I don't want to do that, I don't think. Let's go over here and grab this. Oh hey, your turn's coming up soon. Maybe I should just murder you. Oh well no, you're paralyzed. Yeah, I don't have to worry about you for a bit. Okay, just move right there, grab those foils. You guys got a f handful more units coming in to help. That is annoying. Probably gonna have to use some of those immobility recovery pellets here. God, Archibald, your movement is so sad. I know you're old, but jeez. I shall do what I can. Um We can drop a heal on you or you. Put on you. Thanks. You're kind of in there. So are you, though. Uh, well, throw some poison. And do a stabby, I guess. You could have. I could have cured your immobility with an item, but. Whatever. Huet. You in range to really do anything? Not particularly. Um, could you be blinded? You can. Probably a very, very low chance of it actually working, but, uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. 31%. Ooh, my get wrecked. Hell yeah. Have to do something. Um, you can bop this idiot on the head while they're stunned. Cool. Frederica, there's not much for you to do. What's the range of an Im immobility recovery pellet? That. So not very far. 
Um, fortifying spice. Uh, let's see. Whose turn's coming up next? You. Let's do. Oh, I don't have the things I want. Okay, never mind. Uh. Sweat spice. Eh, yeah, just just chill over here. I think. Uh, don't don't use an item. In turn. Come at me. All right. That is good. Um, I do want this spoil, but I also want to get the back attack on you. You're immune to... No, you're not immune to fury. Well, you're blinded anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I could also pick on this guy. Let's do that. Let's let's provoke. There's a chance I'll provoke Sikris, but I mostly just care about provoking the uh, mage there so you don't run. You're blinded, so... Nice try, idiot. Cool. Um, I would like to move forward and stab with you. So, how open are you to being attacked by either of these doofuses? Okay, they're not reaching you anytime soon. So yeah, you can safely get in here and uh, poke from a distance. Get a follow-up attack with Eridor. Cool. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode again, but I think I can pull it off here. Uh, God, the immobility lasts so long. Just, just, I just fix this. yourself. There we go. And now you can sit right there with this. I did not think you would be part of this Farag schemes. I doubt you would believe me even if I said this was a mere misunderstanding. If you wish to explain yourself, lay down your arms. Doing anything otherwise makes you an accomplice. All right. No innocent until proven guilty here, I guess. To work. Um. Of course, I guess we're we're not in trial, so. Uh. You're just you're just going to attack Eridor, so you're not going to move. I think I just want to focus on killing um. You. I'll send you flying. <laughs> Good stuff, Rudolph. Yeah, I think we got this battle in the bag. You're fine, Anna. I'm just gonna let you wait out this immobility, too. There we go. Just keep getting those throw poisons down. Archibald, yeah, dude. You're, it's a bit unfortunate how slow your movement is. That is pretty rough. You haven't been able to do much in this fight despite there being a lot of high ground, just because I can't get you to the high ground well. It would have been a good time to have Yin's with the ladders. Definitely. Um, you're still paralyzed, still don't really have to worry about you much. I um, think I'm just gonna cure wounds here. My apologies. There we are. You gonna come down here, shield bearer? The hunt is on. Finally. Okay, so... How about we move up a little bit here? As a dead battle mage, or I could go for Sikris. I think I'm just gonna go for Sikris. The battle mage is not a problem. Okay, you're finally you healed up, but it's not a problem. Could I? I could do that. I can't get all three of them though. Yeah. All right, just scorch him. My calls. Couldn't quite get into the range that I wanted, but this it's fine. Oh, you stole my you spoils. Tanky Eridor's tanky. Something. Um. Yeah, I do need to finish you off. Um. Maybe get somebody else to finish you off. Uh. Can hit you with some more magic. There we are. Svalrog, you can take out that dork. Lose. Oh, now you're running into the battle, Svalrog. Jesus. You were just biding your time. I see how it is. Is that all you got? Um, not really a lot to do here. I could ram you into Svalrog. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, though. Uh, Sikris, eat uh, shit. Gotcha. There we go. And I can get two follow-up attacks here. I think you're going down, friend. Look at me learning. This probably would have been a pretty damn hard fight 
um, on hard mode, but it would have been a, I, I basically was just would have had to play like smarter. I went I would probably would have just sat up on that cliff and let them all walk to me and just rained arrows down on them. And it would have just taken a lot longer. It would have been a lot more posturing and waiting around. So I'm happy with this. Damn it! We withdraw for now. Damn right you do. And unfortunately the battle doesn't end there. I do still have to win. So Yeah, this is a bit risky, but I don't care. Um Let's uh delaying strike you, get a follow-up attack there. To work. Um you can go ahead and pick out this dork finally. Go ahead and grab that spoil too. No need to panic. Yeah, Archibald, I'm, I'm making my way to the battle. Just give me a second, you darn youngins. Oh, God. This battle is ours. <laughs> it was my fault for getting him so high up there anyway, but still. Oh, uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Got some more spoils there. Sheila. Um, yeah, just go back here and heal. Allow me. You don't need breath. to do anything else. Alright, yeah, that was a pretty good fight. I definitely could have taken less damage if I had played smarter, but playing smarter would have also been way slower. So I just decided against it. Um, good level up for Roland. Roland caught up really quickly. Can you get an attack in, Starog? Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. You're strong. Uh, in turn. I'll show you what I can do. Yeah, some of these episodes just come out a little bit too long. This is just the nature of a game with this kind of combat system. Combat can be can take a really long time, and uh, there's also a lot of cutscenes and everything. But we're almost done now. It's not the biggest deal. Uh, let's just stab you again. Sarah Noah can grab that spoil soon. Uh, sure, I'll put this right here, just in case any off chance you run onto it. We got a lot of spoils out of this fight. There you go. Oh, I'm coming, I am. Here I come. <laughs> yeah, I need you on a map where you... Where I'm actually going to be defending the position like that. Like, if I was playing on hard mode, you would have been fantastic because I would have moved all of my units on top of this cliff and never left it and basically defended these stairs. But, uh, specifically because I kind of ran out here onto the even ground, you weren't as useful. Uh, let's make sure you can't move. There you go. Let me heal your wounds. You're stuck now. Uh, sure, cure Roland. Roland, go ahead and uh, get in there. A little stabby down. Let me show you what I've learned. And that is death. Right there. I don't think I missed a spoil. I should have checked. I got a lot, and I think I snatched all of them up. Who? Oh my God! Six thousand eight hundred eighty. Okay, well I have the money to buy that thing I want now. Dis evasion spice, large HP recovery pellets. Oh my god, look at all that shit we just got. Oof. You'll love to see it. That was a good one. Picked up a lot of spoils. This is why I want the pinky finger thing, so I can get even more. I want money to be no object. Sicris, some unfortunate news has just come to my attention. It appears the soldier over there was illegally selling our fortress's resources. <laughs> he might be the man you were looking for. Take him with you for questioning. What do you expect me to glean from a corpse? More than you think. Dragan has taught me plenty. Hmm. This transgression was born of my negligence. Give the Archduke my sincerest apologies. Understood, Sicris? Yes, sir. 
Yes, Icarus, turn tail. Run. Let us ensure that such misdeeds do not happen again. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Go on, get. Or I send Archibald waddling after you. Uh, come back here, you youngin. You're not getting away from me this time. I was in the war, you know. <laughs> Alright, so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off. I'll follow up on all the upgrade materials and everything we have in the encampment next time. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Triangle Strategy. And I'll see you then. <laughs>